I'm the third son. I'm the one that pretty much kept my mother pretty busy and uh, wore her out before the other brothers. So if we all got in trouble, I took the hit. <laughs> and by the <laughs> I took the hit and by when it comes to Mark, basically they were just too wore out to hit him just to stay in the room. <laughs> so anyhow, yeah, uh, what my brother Jerry had uh, said was spot on. And uh, we appreciate every moment of my parents, uh, all the sacrifice and time that they spent with us to help us out. And um, I'm a teacher for 22 years, and I work with a lot of high schoolers, and they're just amazed that my parents are through 50 years, and they're amazed that myself is going through I'm 25, and, and it, uh, we're working with a population where the uh, divorce rate's well over 60% in the classrooms, and so they're just amazed that uh, I'm we're set up this party for so many friend, family and friends, and I, but I look around the room, too, and there's so many family and friends here who are also on there. Uh, 50s and 40 year reunions as well, or 50 and 40 year uh, anniversaries as well. It's just uh, quite amazing. So uh, I wish they, my students could see this to say that it is possible. There's a lot of hard work, but a lot of love there. I see my parents' picture behind Mr. Briscoe, who's our violinist, so if you can give him a hand there. Um, he's my colleague and, uh, and my, uh, my lovely future daughter in law, Julie. Juliet. Yeah. Oh, and my son, who's going to get married, sorry, uh, Riley. He's going to be helpful both of you. So we created a song to uh, help commemorate the, the youth and love of my parents. And I hope you enjoy it. It's called Another Day Goes By. Thank you. 